Let's take a walk to Grand Central Market in the city of downtown Los Angeles. We found parking about a half a block away. It was $12 flat, uh, which wasn't too bad for downtown Los Angeles. It can be kind of pricey at times. So, but we were pretty fortunate and we got a good little parking spot. Um, as we walk to Grand Central, we passed other parking structures that we didn't notice on the way there. You can see some of the views of downtown LA, some of the skyscrapers. And we're just like right across the street from Angel's Flight, which is $1 to go on top of the hill. $1 one way up, $1 down. Here we are at Grand Central Market. And this is a Saturday afternoon. It's like the lunchtime rush. They have seating inside as well as outside and they even have a patio which is not covered, but it's to the right side, right off of Grand Avenue. So as we enter, we're coming with family and friends that um, it was their first time. And so everybody wanted something different. So I, we just decided, let's take a walk. Let's walk through and see everything that there's to offer. But you can always go online and check um, the menus um, and see what different vendors that they have and like plan ahead of time. Okay, our first one of the first places that we come upon is um, the China Cafe. Um, they do have stairs, so you have to be careful with that. Um, you know, watch your balance, especially on a rainy day. Here's a sushi spot. They also, they sell beer here. And here's some of the pictures of the different types of sushi that they have to offer. They have menus um, that you can get online as well as at the different restaurants. And it's kind of a tight squeeze walking through. But so many people. There's a Mexican restaurant. They also have um, different American restaurants, Italian restaurants, Korean restaurants. I was trying to show the display case, but it was kind of foggy because of all the steam. It was like really hot. And here's a pizza spot right here. You can see this one lady skipping her slice. Oh, that's so much cheese. So it looks good. Here's a deli over here. It's called um, Old School Deli Classics. And they also, they have like a, a like a bar type um, city area alongside their restaurant. And I think just about all, every single restaurant that's in there, they have like a display case or they all have like a sample of their different types of food that they have to offer to purchase. Is another sitting area. They have Ramen Hood. That's another restaurant. Egg Slant was to the left. This restaurant had a picture of a cow and it's showing you the different parts of the cow where they get the different types of meat from. 
And as we go outside, we're going to kind of like make a U turn to come up on the right side of the restaurant. And they also they had some tables outside as well, I'm sure. So as we come back inside, uh, we come across this juice place that had um, like natural juices, vegan juices, non-dairy. There was a bakery right here. And they seem to be doing really well because a lot of their goods were already gone for the day. This juice place is called um, La Fruteria, which I bought a watermelon juice and it was really good, not too sweet. One place that we had um, purchased before in the past was this Lucky Bird. Their chicken is off the chain. I mean, it was really good. My husband and my daughter both um, bought their lunch from, from this particular spot again on this Saturday. I, on the other hand, wanted to try something different. So I chose this spot right here. Um, it's Corinne um, chicken as well. It's grilled chicken. This is our root bowls. They have different variations of their soda slash juices. Also, they have places where you can um, purchase different herbs and spices, nuts, fresh fruits and vegetables. And you see people from like all over the world, they come here and walk around, purchase something to eat and sometimes stuff to take home. They're on the go. This one particular spot was closed. I really wanted to try it. Maybe next time. And they have this little spot right here where you can buy merchandise uh, representing Grand Central Market. Here is a great mural of Kobe Bryant. Forever be in our hearts, Kobe. We love you. And here we're coming across another sitting area. As much sitting that they had, it still wasn't enough. Like, it was just so crowded in there. Like we really had a hard time trying to find a spot, but eventually we did find a spot, which was outside on their patio. I love this, this colorful um, display of lights. This is what my husband had. He said the macaroni and cheese was eh, okay, the chicken was great. Um, I ate from Shakiro. I had the grilled chicken, rice, and I had vegetables. This is all their different stuff that they have to offer there. That was pretty reasonable. I paid like $18 for my plate. I'll definitely be going back. And that's my plate. It was really good. I give it a 5 out of 5. My drink I had was a watermelon juice i give it a five out of five my husband said he there his chicken was like the best chicken ever so the chicken was great the macaroni and cheese and eh, not so great okay so this donut place is off of the chain their fresh strawberry donuts everybody was standing in line to get that it's in season right now. Also, they have like peach donut as well. It's in season.
but they're most famous for their fresh strawberry donuts. So if you're ever at Grand Central Market, it's worth standing in line. And these people, they take their job very seriously. Like they work so hard getting these donuts out to everybody. Here's the donuts. Slip my husband off. Bought. 